Hello, everyone. Welcome back to JSA TV here live from DCD, Virginia in Leesburg, just outside of Washington, DC. We're here on day two, very busy here, lots of bustling activity going on. Um, so it's a great place to be to talk about digital infrastructure. And we are here covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations in the digital infrastructure industry, which is why we've invited Matt Monaco from Powerhouse Data Centers. Your title is Senior Vice President of Asset Management and Development at Powerhouse. That's why we've invited Matt on as one of the leaders in our industry. So thank you, Matt, for joining us. Oh, thank you. It's great to be here. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we're very happy to have you. Um, so we'll just kind of dive right in. So Powerhouse, of course, everyone's probably seen your announcements and all of the activity coming out of your newsroom. Um, so you've got a, a growing portfolio across a bunch of different regions. So can you talk about the availability of critical resources like power, uh, proximity to key markets, et cetera, how that influences your site selection and development strategies? Sure. Yeah, that, that's definitely something that we spend a lot of time on. Uh, I think of it as a Venn diagram for power, fiber, water, and proximity to users based on the, uh, the workloads. And it's really about you know, staying very close to our customers and figuring out where they want to go and then stitching together that overlap of those four, you know, four pieces of the Venn diagram to be able to get the right fiber, the right water, the right power uh, in the right locations at the right time. Um, you know, we really stay laser focused on uh, what we call kind of immediate gratification uh, power within 24 to 36 months and 300 megawatt plus campuses. That, that's really our, our sweet spot. Perfect. And it's well articulated. So, you know, it, it, it definitely can tell that that's very strategic on your part. Um, and so what do you see as the biggest factors driving the demand for these large scale data center developments um, that you all have, you know, many of them going on right now? Yeah, I mean, there, there's a few big drivers as I see it. I mean, I'll, I'll start with uh, the the hottest one, which is AI, and and obviously break that down into two pieces. There's the uh, training workloads, which tend to be more location agnostic, and then the inference workloads, which tend to be more at the edge, closer to the population centers. But uh, you know, so those are obviously the key pieces of AI, which is driving a lot of growth. But we also can't forget that commercial cloud is still growing at a rapid rate, uh, you know, 20, 30 percent in general. I mean, what we saw recently, I think this was from AWS, uh, they said uh, AI is growing triple digits, um, but the commercial cloud is still growing, you know, 20 to 30 percent for a lot of these players. And that continues to drive a lot of demand. AI is just kind of a, a layer on top of that that's smaller, but obviously growing really fast. So th those are the three big drivers we see. Excellent. Yeah. One thing that we don't have a shortage of in this industry is growth, right? And, and drivers for that growth. So that's, that's amazing. Um, and so how do partnerships like utilities, like I know you all work with Duke Energy, Dominion, NV Energy, for example, how does, how do those partnerships impact your approach to delivering sustainable, reliable power at scale? Yeah, I mean, the utility partnerships are really critical for us, for the ones you mentioned, as well as Encore down in Texas and, uh, and figuring out how um, you know, we work very collaboratively with the utilities. A lot of our projects um, are a second project with the same utility or even a third project in some cases. Um, so we build relationships there. Um, and it's, it's really about figuring out, as you said, how we get the reliable power. We get uh, as sustainable power as well as that time to market piece, which is really critical. Um, you know, to be able to bring the power online fast and keep up with the demand that's out there. Um, I will mention that we've got a project in uh, Charlotte that we're really excited about with Duke. It's a 300 megawatt plus campus. Um, and this one has 50% of the power from non-carbon sources. Uh, oh, so wow. we're, we're very excited about that one uh, along with uh, the others in our portfolio. Yeah, that's incredible. Excellent. Um, well, thank you so much, Matt. It's always interesting talking to the powerhouse team. You all have so much going on and you're running yeah, a million miles a minute. So thank you so much for, for taking the time to sit with us and, and provide those insights on what you've got going on. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you, viewers, for hanging out with us here live from DCD, Virginia today. Happy networking, everyone.